I'm Ellen Amanis, author of Soul Dog, A Journey into the Spiritual Life of Animals. This is a book about the dog who changed my life. He transformed how I see myself, my fellow creatures, and even the nature of existence itself. I wrote about our story because I know now that dogs and other animals have so very much to teach us if we're open to listening. But do we really recognize the depth of what these beings have to offer us? I think really often we don't. I know I didn't when I first brought my puppy home. I needed to listen to him better and to hear him, so I sought help. I entered the world of the paranormal, enlisting animal communicators, psychic intuitives, and even mediums who claim to be able to get messages from animals and humans from the dimension of spirit. I was the last person I'd have thought would write this book. I was a committed skeptic when I started down this road of telepathic communication with my dog. I was a hard-driving television producer and journalist, and I was trained to rely only on hard and proven fact. Yet my experience with the animal communicators really did convince me that they were getting messages from Brio. The details and content of these messages were so accurate, giving information that they could not have known by any ordinary means. They described my apartment from Brio's point of view and his personality. So I had to ask myself, how could they, how could these psychics really be getting these messages? Do animals have thoughts and feelings, consciousness, souls? Is interspecies communication possible? So I began investigating recent scientific research into the intelligence and emotions of dogs and other animals, and also into animal telepathy. I had, of course, come to have a profound connection with Brio. I felt I really came to know that he had a special wisdom. He was connected to something larger than himself, and over the years, he would lead me to feel that connection in myself. He was my teacher. He was the light on the path, and I reached out to follow him. I knew now that he came to give me the gift of his wisdom, and he continued to do so after his physical death. Yes, the messages continued to come, both through the communicators and directly to me. There's a real shift now in how we perceive our fellow beings, a growing recognition that they are thinking, feeling, sentient beings with spirits, with souls. I hope that Soul Dog, a journey into the spiritual life of animals, will encourage readers to listen and learn from the creatures who share our lives.